How to create a job schedule in Smart Contractor Once you've created a job in Smart Contractor, you can create a schedule. Smart Contractor automatically generates the job schedule from data in your job estimate. All you have to do is enter the job start date and click Reschedule Job. Then go to Edit Schedule and there's your job schedule. How does Smart Contractor do that? Remember that when you set up item information in the job estimate, you can assign a job phase to the item. The job phase tells Smart Contractor what sequence items in the job must be completed in. The sequence of the job phases is defined in a schedule model. Smart Contractor comes with predefined schedule models, but you can change them or create any of your own. Schedule models are easy to create and modify. The order of the job phases in the left column indicates the sequence of completion. To resequence a job phase, just drag and drop it where you want it to be. The boxes in the grid allow you to indicate whether a job phase must be performed by itself or whether it can be performed at the same time as other job phases. For example, excavation, foundation, and framing will probably only be able to be done one at a time. But once the framing is done, there are a number of things that can be done at the same time, such as rough electrical, rough plumbing, or HVAC. So, to create a schedule for a job, all you do is assign a job phase to each item, check the schedule item box, then set the job start date, And there's your schedule. Now let's have a look at the Edit Schedule screen. The schedule grid shows the job items on the left and the dates across the top. You can scroll the schedule up and down and left and right. You can see more information about the job items by sliding this bar over. Each column in the grid represents one day. Each square in the grid indicates whether the item on that row is scheduled on that day. Red squares mean the item is a critical path item. Critical path items must be completed before the next phase of the construction can begin. Dark blue squares mean that the item is not a critical path item. That means the item can be started and completed any time within the range of the light blue boxes. The letters in the box indicate the status of the item scheduled on that date. C means conflict. This appears when a resource, such as an employee, subcontractor, or equipment, has been scheduled for more than one job on that date. I'll talk more about that later. N means no resource. That means that no resource has been scheduled for that item. X means the item has been completed. To schedule an item, click in a box. To unschedule the item, click it again. When you make changes to the schedule and click OK, the program will automatically regenerate and display the schedule. If you change the duration of any critical path items, all of the dates that follow are automatically rescheduled. Now, back to what I was saying about schedule conflicts. To view information about an item with a schedule conflict, right-click on that date. This will display a window that shows information about the schedule conflict. You can assign or deassign schedule resources by checking them or unchecking them in the resources list. The item resource window also gives you a way to update the progress and status of each job item as the job progresses. A few more things about the schedule grid. The gray columns represent non-work days. Smart Contractor assumes you won't schedule work on the weekends, but if you want to, just go to the Schedule Setup tab of the Edit Job form. Check the boxes for which weekend days you want to schedule for that job. While we're here, you'll notice some other things you can set up for the job schedule, like the job start date, the schedule model, schedule phases, and more.
For information about the finer points of job scheduling in Smart Contractor, please see the online help documentation. Back to the non-work schedule days. What about holidays? Click Setup, Holiday Schedule to edit the scheduled holidays. Smart Contractor automatically includes all U.S. national holidays in the holiday schedule. These are marked in red. You can remove any of these and add any others. Holidays set up in the holiday schedule are automatically grayed out in the job schedule. What about viewing multiple jobs in the schedule at the same time? To view multiple jobs in the schedule, click Setup, select Jobs to display, then check the jobs you want to include in the schedule grid. Notice that when you work with multiple jobs, the job name is displayed in the left column. Since job items are listed by date sequence, notice that items from the jobs can be interspersed in the grid. Now that you have a job schedule, there are a number of things that Smart Contractor can do with it. You can print it as a listing sequenced by date or as a calendar. You can print the entire schedule grid. This works well if you have a plotter printer. You can print a weekly resource schedule that shows which resources are scheduled for which jobs on each day of the week. And you can print a listing of schedule changes. There are a number of things Smart Contractor can do with the information in the Job Estimate and Schedule. Please see specific videos for more information. This concludes the tutorial video on creating a job schedule in Smart Contractor. Thank you for watching!